Do you want to help me never have an adult job anymore? Then hit that subscribe button, follow me on Instagram, check me out at twitch.tv slash kmarup. I don't want a real job, so you can help me with that by giving me attention. Attention, it makes money. 21st century. Flying through space. I'm flying through space. I can't believe I'm doing this video. I can't believe this is a thing. It's a thing. OnlyFans in Airsoft. It's a thing. It's real. I don't know why. If you're like me, and you're in your 30s, and you're kind of like, I've heard, like, I've seen jokes about OnlyFans. I guess it has something to do with porn. Uh, but what is it? OnlyFans is like Patreon, I guess. Does that help, like, some of the... The folks that are like my age out there it's like patreon kind of meets porn if you look it up and you look at what only fans actually is it's really just a subscription based content service for individuals but it doesn't have any of the restrictions that like facebook or instagram or youtube it doesn't really have those uh, adult or those maturity content restrictions for instance I can't take a picture of myself completely butt naked and you just throw that on Instagram and have that be okay for various reasons other than the fact that this is just full on hair and dad bod. But on OnlyFans, you can get butt wild and naked and people are going to pay you for it. Not everyone is going to that extreme, but OnlyFans is statistically used most by those in the adult film industry, porn stars. That's a thing that has been reported on many outlets. You can look it up. A lot of users on OnlyFans use that platform for, let's just say, adult content that is normally restricted on other social media platforms. Is that? Yeah. And now there are airsofters that are crossing over to this medium. Oh, wow, 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 wow. I've done videos on what I think of airsoft models and how I'm really not into that sort of thing. I try not to knock it because I understand that I am differently minded than others. And some people just like to model. They're like, I like modeling. I'm into the fashion. I like the character aspect. I like taking pictures. I like photography. That's cool. But for me, who's someone a little bit more competitive minded a little bit more player based that has kind of like real world experiences of what the game is based on and i kind of carry that mindset over into the game well okay you have to understand where i'm coming from but when someone advertises for a only fans account through their airsoft instagram not their personal instagram let's be clear if i had a personal instagram and I can post whatever I want to it. And I want to do, uh, if I just want to do shots every weekend, and if I want to, you know, post pictures of me in a bikini, because why not? Then that's what I want to do on my personal Instagram that is not intended for an airsoft audience. However, when I have an airsoft based Instagram, and I understand that the demographics of my airsoft based Instagram is basically high school and junior high aged boys, or kids for that matter. Mostly boys, if we're being honest. And I start taking scantily clad pictures, holding guns, trying to call myself an airsofter. To me, that's a red flag. Wakanda forever. So when I see someone who talks about the airsoft community and talks about airsoft and does all these airsoft, airsoft, airsoft things, and then they go, hey, if you want to see me hold this airsoft gun up against my butt in underwear, and you could pay me a fee check out my OnlyFans account. I'm, no, we can't work together. We can't be cool. We're not gonna be friends. I don't wanna do projects. Get away. Get away from me because that is just bull Because what it tells me is you know that you're failing as an Instagram persona. So now you have to go above and beyond and you have to cheapen yourself up by using your body, by using sexual imagery, and you're trying to sell that sexual imagery to kids, and that's kind of gross. To further clarify, I am not talking about someone who, let's say you have a, a femme fatale, I believe, Kelly had this problem, where she, on her Instagram, she was at the beach wearing a bikini, which is what you would wear at a beach. Not holding an airsoft gun, not talking about, just like, hey, lovely day at the beach, selfie. 
And then all the dudes in the comments were like, Ugh, you can't, you're an airsoft or you shouldn't do this. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. There's a line here. In that scenario, if you're taking a picture of yourself at the beach, wearing beach wear, bikinis, one piece, two piece, whatever you're doing, that's okay. That's appropriate for that environment. That's fine. But if you were to hold up a gun in the background, put it across your chest and go, what do you guys think of this airsoft gun? Titties. That's not, no, 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 no. There's a difference between that. When you try and add a sexual imagery to airsoft, you're gross. You're gross, you're gross, you're gross. You're also uninnovative because that tells me that you don't know how to play the game. If you knew how to play the game, there would be footage of you playing the game of airsoft. You would be doing airsoft things instead of just taking pictures of guns and gear and, you know, you wearing cool camo pants with this cool gun and that's it. Or you in the forest holding an M4 without a magazine, not wearing eye pro. That's a staged picture. You're not playing. You're modeling. Difference. Big difference. If you have an OnlyFans and you're an airsofter and you're taking pictures of a gun pressed against your boobies, that's gross. Let me float this out there. I'm not saying I wish anyone with an airsoft base that has an OnlyFans any ill will or like to go flood their comments like, what you're doing is wrong, this is my crusade, jihad against you. If you're an airsofter with a scantily clad OnlyFans account, I hope you make all the money in the world. I hope you pay all your bills. I hope you never have to have a real job or succumb to the drudgery of a nine to five or sit in a cubicle somewhere. Hey bro, if that's what floats your boat and if that's what pays your bills and if people are gonna pay to see you without shorts on holding an airsoft gun, you did it, you did it. Great, 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 but Stay away from me. I don't respect what you do. I think what you, I personally think what you do is wrong. I think it's toxic. I think it's bad for the community. I don't like what you do, but I am just one grumpy bearded airsoft dad that doesn't like what the hip young kids are doing these days as ways to make money. Let's say on that person's airsoft IG, they say, hey, I'm sponsored by these airsoft companies. Leave those companies alone. Don't, those companies don't deserve any hate or negativity because I'm pretty sure that behind the scenes, those companies are like, what are you doing? We didn't sponsor, we aren't cool with this. So <laughs> leave the sponsors out of it. Unless that person is sponsored by Bob's Airsoft Shop and Bob's Airsoft Shop is also sponsoring their scantily clad only fan content. Full send in their DMs and in their comments. Go crazy if that's what the community wants. I don't think what you're doing is good for the airsoft community. I don't think what you're doing is good for you personally in the airsoft world. I think there is a reason why you don't see a lot of airsofters post everything except actual gameplay footage because you're bad at the game. And you know you're bad at the game you still want to make money and get popular online. And the easiest way to do that is to promote products and materialism and not the mindset of a player, which is to play, to grow, and to get better at a game. Bear in mind, what I'm talking about also happens in the adult world. This happens in the real firearms world too. And I hate it in the real firearms world just as much as I hate it in the airsoft world. I've never cared. I've never bought a product because of some young lady or some attractive young man, hey, 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 that had some skimpy outfit was like, buy this pistol at a local gun shop, you're new. That has the opposite effect on me. I don't care about that marketing. I think using sex to sell products is disgusting and desperate. That is a last ditch attempt for someone to market or sell a product or service. So this isn't some unique perspective I have in the airsoft world. I don't like when companies try to do this anyway. But since I'm in the airsoft world, you know who you are. To me, you're not an airsofter because you don't play. Kaber, who the f are you, nerd?